All right, so we have question three. The following bank reconciliation statement pertains to Big Five Limited for the month of February 2022, all right? So we have our information here. Balance as per bank statement, 1,629,000. Outstanding checks, 434,600. Checks deposited and under clearance, 228,175. Debit advances for back charges in March 2022, $1,620. And reconciled difference, 4,500. Balance as per bank book, 1,422,695. So the topic which we're dealing with here is bank reconciliations, all right? Remember, as a business, your records of your money are found in your cash book, all right? In your cash book, you have the cash column and the bank column. So here we're focusing on the bank column of the cash book. Now, your bank also has their record of your money. All right, that comes in the bank statement. All right, so your cash book and your bank statement are supposed to be equal. All right, if there is a difference, this is where the reconciliation comes in, explaining how why there is a difference, and then we have to readjust our cash book and our bank statement so that they both have equal balances. All right, so here. We're going to follow, uh, focus on this balance for our bank book, 1,422,695. All right, we're going to focus on that one. We have to make some adjustments, and then also we're going to have to uh, make another bank reconciliation statement. All right, so let us first focus on additional information, all right? So outstanding checks include a check of 18,625. The check was recorded in the bank book as 16,375. So now when we talk about outstanding checks, all right, this is a case where you as a business, you have issued a payment, right? So on your uh, bank book or your cash book, right? It will be on the credit side. Right, the credit side of the cash book represents a payment, right? So an outstanding check is when you make a payment, but the bank hasn't recognized it yet, right? They haven't recognized that and they haven't deducted from your balance. That's what basically an outstanding check is, right? So now here we have a check that was understated, all right? The check was understated or the payment was understated right instead of it being 18625 the check was recorded as 16375 all right so what we must do since we have an understatement of a payment all right let's look at these golden rules here whenever you have an understatement of a payment find the difference and you credit the bank book or the cash book all right so whenever i talk about cash book just now referring to the bank caller okay so you when you find the difference and you credit the cash book all right so basically what's going to happen is you're going to also make a journal entry for this all right you're going to make a journal entry for this saying that you're paying this understated value all right it's going to show that you have paid this understated value. Okay, so we're going to say 18,625 minus 16,375. Right, 
we've been understated by 2250 so we have to make this correction so we're going to credit our cash book all right credit our cash book which you can see here 2250 all right and then as i said there's a journal entry for this okay and this is the journal entry here all right we'll, we'll credit our this bank here represents our cash book all right we credit bank or the cash book and we debit our accounts paid remember we are making a payment but it was understated all right so now well here what we're saying is that this understated amount we've also paid it right so we have to reduce the payable all right so now in bank reconciliation statement the account for the payable we're not really going to bother about that what we're going to focus on is this credit entry all right the credit entry is here all right two thousand two hundred and fifty all right all right a check amounting to four thousand eight hundred and twenty five which is outstanding since 8th june checks are standing for more than six months and not honored by the check right so what is happening here is that this is an outstanding check all right we have a payment of 4825 right on our cash book we have this 4825 here all right but the bank hasn't recognized it all right and this was on 8th june now we're dealing what's the were in february all right 8th june 2021 to february 2022 that is more than six months so this check is going to be a dishonored check all right so what's going to happen right what is going to happen is we're going to debit in the bank all right we debit the bank which is a cash book and we'll credit the payable so what we're saying basically here is that payment of 4200 4825 it has not been realized all right so we are still owing that payable who was supposed to pay that's why we credit there then on our bank book we debit it all right so this is what you must remember when it comes to dishonored checks all right the general entries for dishonored checks right if the transaction relates to a payment of a check to the suppliers all right like in this case this 4825 it was obviously a payment to one of our suppliers all right but it's been dishonored all right so if it gets dishonored all right we'll have to debit the bank and credit our pay all right if that payment passed through all right that 4825 if it passed through this was supposed to be the gen general entry, right? Would have credited the same 4,825 and debited the payable, but it's a dishonored check, all right? So we're going to debit our cash book, which is represented by bank. So here, we're going to debit, right, 4,825, all right? so meaning we are still owing that same person okay we're still owing that same person so our journal entry which i've been said which i've said here this is going to be our journal entry for the dishonored check all right we debit bank and we credit the payable so we're still owing so that's where it comes here 4825 Okay, we we'll go to the next one. Checks under clearance include a post dated check. All right, so let's remember that this day a post dated check is a check written by a drawer. All right, the one who writes who makes the check is the drawer for a date in the future. All right, a check written by somebody who is called the drawer for a date in 
the future, right? So this included a post dated check of 17,500 received from a customer on excuse me, 27th February 2022. The check was deposited in the bank on 28th February 2022 but the date of the check was 1st March 2022. All right, so as we said, it's a, this is a check all right, made by a draw, a draw up for a future date. So it was deposited in 28th February, all right, but when 1st March arrives, this check is going to go through, all right? So currently, let's look at the journal entry this side here. right currently this person is owing us money they are a receivable all right so they're obviously owing us seventeen thousand five hundred right so they've issued a check all right we haven't reached first may when first may comes then the check will be cleared and we'll receive the money all right so the way the general entry currently to be is we have a receivable who's owing us seventeen thousand five hundred right obviously we sold him something on credit that's why he's a receivable and is owing us all right so this is how our general entry will be right we have the receivables eighteen thousand five hundred, and the credit bank seventeen thousand five hundred. then when first may comes all right when first may comes we're going to debit the bank seventeen thousand five hundred, and we'll credit the receivable seventeen thousand five hundred. All right. So until first of May, we we'll still have a receivable. All right. We we'll still have a receivable. So on our debit of seventeen thousand five hundred, then on our credit we have seventeen thousand five hundred. This shows that we made it. Obviously, this was a credit sale to this person. That's why he's our receivable. So, on our book, on our cash book, we we'll still have this 17500 on our credit side. All right? We'll still have it on our credit side. Then when first May comes, it will appear on our debit side. Okay, the bank charges include an amount of 1,250, which was subs subsequently reversed by the bank. Okay, so we go to our information here, all right? Debit advances for bank charges received in March 2022, 4,620, all right? So since 1,250 has been reversed, all right we're going to deduct 4620 minus 1250 all right so our bank charge which we are supposed to have is 3370 all right so have it on the credit side which means we paid it okay which means we have paid it okay Then we go to a page total, the page total of payment side of the bank book. Okay, a page total of payment side of the bank book amounting to two million two hundred and ninety four thousand five hundred was carried forward to the next page as two million. 299,000 all right so on our payment side we have an overstated payment on the credit side all right so if we have an overstated payment right who is this all right when you have an overstatement of the payment find the difference and debit all right by debiting meaning we are reducing this overstatement right we are reducing the overstatement by debiting 
right so we'll debit our cash book we'll first we'll subtract two million two hundred and ninety nine thousand minus two million two hundred and ninety four thousand five hundred all right when you subtract them you get four thousand five hundred so we debit our cash book to correct the overstatement all right so after we are done with that now we can find the balance in our cash book okay we can find the balance in our cash book right so you can see the debit side looks greater okay. the debit side looks greater suppose we get this figure one million four hundred and thirty two thousand twenty right when you total up your debit side one million four hundred and thirty two thousand twenty then your credit side once you total it up total on the credit side up you get 23,120 to get your balance carried down you say 1,432,020 minus 23,120 your balance comes to 1,408,000 408,900 that is our balance all right which is part we've already done part a okay we've posted the relevant transactions to the bank book to arrive at the correct balance all right so this is our correct balance then we go to part b it says prepare a revised reconciliation statement for the month of february using the corrected bank book balance okay so in this question, they've told us to use the corrected bank book balance, which is this 1,408,900. All If we were not taught to do that, right, before I come to part B, if we we're not taught to do that, right, on our bank reconciliation statement, right, on our bank reconciliation statement, we would have started with this balance here, right? We get this balance here we adjust it and it has to give us the same value as our cash book so let's just do that then we we'll use the corrected bank book balance all right so we have our bank reconciliation statement here all right we are using the bank balance which is already given to us in the question all right i just want us to verify that this one balances with the adjusted cash book all right so the first thing that you're going to do is remember that everything that is debited on the cash book side all right will come on the credit side right and anything that has been credited will come on the debit side because our the bank statement is a reflection of our cash book all right whenever we receive money we debit but on the bank statement, it will be credited, right? Whenever we pay out money, we credit. But on our bank statement, it will be debited, all right? So, so our credits we're going to add, and the debits we're going to subtract. Credits add, debits subtract. Okay. So we're going to start with the outstanding checks, all right? outstanding checks we'll go back to our old information here all right outstanding checks 434,600 all right we have another outstanding check all right which was here this 2250 all right which was part of this outstanding checks so we're going to add 434,600 plus 2250 all right when you add 434600 plus 2250 you get 436850 all right 
so we are going to subtract this all right so you're going to say one million six hundred and twenty nine thousand minus four hundred and thirty six thousand eight hundred and fifty you get one million one hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred and fifty all right then you add that okay you add it with this dishonored check all right one million one hundred and ninety six thousand nine hundred and seventy five okay then we also have these checks deposited under clearance right these checks deposited under clearance if we go to our information here checks deposited and under clearance two million two hundred and two two hundred and twenty eight thousand one hundred and seventy five all right we are going to subtract seventeen thousand five hundred all right subtract seventeen thousand five hundred so say two hundred and twenty eight thousand one hundred and seventy five Two hundred two hundred and twenty eight thousand one hundred and seventy five minus seventeen thousand five hundred you get two hundred and ten thousand six hundred and seventy five oops I'm on the wrong one I'm in this one here sorry yes you get two hundred and ten thousand six hundred and seventy five all right then you're going to say you add let me just all right so you're going to add one million one hundred and ninety six thousand nine hundred and seventy five plus this you get one million four hundred and seven thousand six hundred and fifty right then again you're going to add these bank charges here the reversed ones right and you get one million four hundred and eight thousand nine hundred all right which is the same as your um your updated cash book okay the balances are the same right but in this question they said prepare a revised bank reconciliation statement for the month of february using the corrected bank book balance okay so we're going to use the bank book balance one million uh, one million four hundred and eight thousand nine hundred all right we just do the same process and this time our ending balance would be one million one hundred and eight eight thousand eight hundred all right this is our new bank balance using the balance as per bank book this is as per bank book right the bank book cash book all the same right this is the balance as per corrected bank book 